So in this video, I'll be showing you this over here, how to draw property right next to each other, and also how to name the elements inside the list. All right, so let's get into it. All right, before we start, I just want to show you that I have made three scripts, and I have made some scriptable objects out of some of the scripts I've made. So let's just open up. All righty. So the scriptable object is pretty much just a scriptable name damage type, and we just have a display name in it. Then we have the the class that we want to be showing with the property draw. And it's important that you need to have the serializable on it. And that will mean you need to have the using system. Then inside the character, we just have three of them. And we have the list. Right, so that means we go to Unity. It will look like this right here. I already filled out some of the info animation here. Right, so now we're going to make the property draw to have all the fields side by side. For that, you will actually need a folder called editor. In here, you just name it editor. Because when uh, you're building the game, you'll get an error if you make a dro property draw inside. Um, when, when it's not inside a editor folder. All right, so let's open up the editor folder. Come on, computer, you can do it. I'm just gonna kick a reload. And here we go, all right. So let's remove this here. And we now need to change this out with a property draw. And we probably need to add the reference. The reference we need to add is Unity Editor. All right, so now that we have the editor, we need the override of on we all right so i'm gonna go through a little bit of all those here just so um, people have a little more understanding of what is actually going on all right so the first up is the position so we can just go position dot and here you can see the things we want to get our hands on is um, the x the Y and the set position. So that's where it will be placed. And then we have uh, the width and the height. Those are the two ones that we are going to use because then we know how high it is and how, uh, you know how long it is. All right. So those are the other, the other two. Then the property here is literally where we can find the different types uh, of field it contains. So before we start, we will actually go in and type in editor. Uh, I think it's called gun. Yes, it's a gun dot begin property. So this one here is uh, we're telling it it should start drawing pretty much. Then we just want to give it its position, its label, and the properties. All right, so after that, we actually want to get the properties. Uh, but before we do that, we prop we need to tell it what type of property we need to get it from. So we are going to go custom property draw. And then in here, we're going to go type of. And then the type we want to make, and that is just test serializable. Uh, it doesn't need to be named that. I just, I just needed to pick a name, so that's the name I picked. All right. So now we need to actually get the field. So we're gonna go serializable property, and let's see what are they actually named in it. So let's just drag it over here for the time being. So we have damage type. So let's just call it damage type, and uh, we have number. So I'm just going to do this first, make two of those, just name it number and display. So number display, then we can just go with that again. And then we, here we're just going to go equals property dot find property related. There, we now need to give it the name. 
So I guess it was kind of stupid that I actually removed it. So we can just open up again. Go here. And just to clarify, this one over here can actually be private. It just needs the name of the, the field that you want to get your hands on. So we're just going to do like this. And we can pretty much just copy, copy this part here. Go like this and just go number and display. Right, so now we have actually gotten... Uh, what do call it? Now it has went in and actually... What do I call it? Downloaded? Uh, yeah, just gonna call it... It got the... It have the data in it now. I just lost the, the right English word for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, then we need the label position. So for the text, is it's actually going to show. So we're just gonna go label position, and that is equal a new rect, and we are just gonna say position dot x, position dot y, position dot set, position dot width, and position dot height. There we go. Oh yeah. Uh, we actually don't need that one here. My bad. Alright. So now that we have this one here, we can then start to draw um, the position. And we will actually override the position. So we're going to go position equals. I will explain a little later why we do this. So we're gonna go editor.gun dot prefix label. And here because it's going to be a ridiculous long, I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces. So we're gonna press enter. And I go label position, comma. Here we're gonna go gun your gun gun your utility. I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong. Then we are gonna go get um, get controller ID, and in here we're just gonna go focus type dot passive. Just pick the passive fit thing that should be fine. And now we're gonna make a, a new gun content here. So we're gonna go new uh, gun content. And we're gonna make a new wrap of this one. Oh. And here we're actually going into the damage type. And we're gonna say damage type dot objective because um scriptable object is an object. So I think you need to do that uh, if you're using audio clips or a specific other thing, you need to take it as a as an object, so we're gonna go object reference value, and we're gonna ask it if it is null. And then we're gonna do a question mark. So this is pretty much we are making a if else statement right here. So if it has something, well, then we want it. Then we're gonna uh, yeah. Then we want the damage dot uh, object as. So we want to cast it, and then we're gonna put it inside. Uh, inside here because then we can go dot display name. So it's either going to show the label as display name, or we're just gonna call it empty. So, so what are we doing here? Well, we are setting the label prefix name. So if it has a scriptable object in it, it will take the name of that scriptable object, or it will just call. Um, called the label empty. So that's what we're doing. And the reason why we're setting equals position is because the label is taking up a specific position. So when we go back out here, you can see the label is taking this position right here. That means the position that is back now, it returns, is the position right here for this part over here. That means we will only have this part now to, to work with when we are putting in the rest of the fields. 
I hope that makes sense. I guess that would make sense a little while. All right. So now we need to put the uh, internal internal level into a good. One. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why we have to do this, but for some reason, sometimes it doesn't work if we doesn't do this. So this one here, I'm sorry, but I. Uh, I actually don't know why we have to do this. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, next up, we need to tell it how how long um, how uh, how long in width are the different uh, fields. So we're just gonna say you know width size that is equal position dot width, and then we're gonna divide it with we're gonna have three, so we're gonna divide it with three. And then we also need a field offset. So we're going to go offset size. Or else they will just be uh, right. They will go into each other. So we're just going to put this on here to make it look a little a little nicer. That's pretty much the reason. All right, next up, we are then going to make the new posi the positions for all the different fields. We're just going to call that position 1 and position 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so then we need the position X. I'm just going to fill out the positions fast here. And then we need position dot Y. And then we need how big it is. And then we're just going to go uh, size and then position dot height. All right. We're going to make three of those just because this is pretty much the text that all of them is going to have in the beginning. So now let's actually add in the difference. So we know the first one here is just um, it's just one, but we also want to minus the offset. That way um, we will it will if they will not connect, so there will be a little small offset. No, actually, let's not put in the offset in the beginning, so you can actually see. All right, so the Y position actually needs to be the width size times one. In theory, I didn't need to go time one, but then it's just, uh, it looks a little nicer because they actually line up. So that is the reason why I do do this. Oh, yeah, um, my bad. Actually needs to be over here. I just looked at my notes. So whoopsie doopsie. And then go post her, no. Position dot y. Ah, come on, you can do this. Position dot y. And do the plus. All right. Here we go. All right. So the the here we are telling it. All right. So here here we're telling it started from, you know, the start of position, have the same start height position be the size of what we're telling it to so one third of the entire area and have the same height. But down here, we're telling it it should start um, one one size in. So it should start in like in the middle and this should start uh, be at the end. All right, so let's actually start drawing those different ones. Remote, we will go back and make the offsets a little later so you can actually see the difference. Oh, and here we're just gonna go property, property field, and go position one. And we are gonna go the damage one first and go gun dot none. And just make three of those. Go position one, two, three. And this one should be number, and the last one should be display name. And then we need to set the gun there to then again. For some reason, it sometimes doesn't work if you don't add those two here. And I, sorry, but I still don't know what they do. So I'm sorry about that. All right, and lately we need to tell it to stop drawing. So 
here we go. All right, so let's see what that actually did over here. Let's have a look if it is working. And it is working. As you can see here, uh, it says empty right here. So if we go in and put in earth, we can see it says earth damage. So if we go into earth here and change it to, to like Yemen, and we click here, you can see it has now changed to Yemen out here as well as here. All right, so we want a little bit of space here because the red are clamped together. You want to go, go back into it and take our and go minus and minus. Well, in theory, you don't need to do it here. So we're not going to do that there. All right. Let's go back and have a look. And you will now see there is a little bit of breathing room. Again, you can just change how much breathing room you want. And you can now see now where we are going up and down. This one here is now moving to it as well. But let's say we want a little more space here. So we want this to fill a little more. Then we can go into the code and then we'll go, well, how about we say four instead? And then we're gonna go two and three. And we go in here. Oh yeah, we forgot to do that one bigger. So size times two. Go in here and it should be there. There we go. So now this has more breeding room. As you can see. So, yep, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, you know, thank you for watching. See you next time.